So um, I'm uh, about to start doing a bit of painting and I thought I'd show you my lovely slash messy area of work. I've got um, an assortment of paints and some rocks there that are those ones that I washed um, ready to go. Um, I've got some, some sort of yellows and pinks maybe, reds, oranges are all in that box. In the middle here I've got my metallics and my big um, big pot of black there. I use a lot of black for the backgrounds. Um, that's my little lamp and a lot of paint brushes. And over here I've got all my sort of greens going through to blues to purples, greys. Um, got a few things on the go here. Um, this is one that um, I collected from Captain Compost Landscape Supplies yesterday, which stands up on its end, which I think is great. Um, this little guy's nearly finished. He's um, got these gorgeous little flowers on, different colours, and it's no plan, just a, a mass of, of flowers. Um, this one here, which is something new for me, I'm just about to start working on that today, so you get to see some of that. Um, this one's nearly finished. Um, he's got some little leaves to go on yet. And this lovely gaudy one, I love gaudy colours here. Um, I really like the shape of this one. Um, the sort of boomerang almost shape. So I'm going to um, keep working on that one. You'll see that evolving over time. Here's my little tools that I use. Um, I got these from a woman in Canada and funny enough she's originally from New Zealand and she's moved to Canada. In fact here's her card here. Um, DIY mandala stones. Prior to getting these, these were the only ones I could find in the world, on the internet that is, I had um, some little nail art tools, little dotting tools that, that you can get quite readily off some of those, um, you know, cheap sort of Chinese websites that are around, that are available. Um, but good old bamboo skewer, this one has been used to clean up my paint pots these days, so not too exciting. But that end was quite good there for doing, you know, painting, painting a dot onto something. Um, this end was also quite good, uh, without the paint on it, of course. <laughs> um, and I used pencils. Um, I bought a stack of pencils with um, the rubbers, you know, the erasers on the end of them. And that was quite good for doing a dot about yay size. Of course, these dotting tools I just think are great because they go right through. I've got um, eight tools there, I believe. So I go right up from this little tiny... Where are we? That's number one. Um, right through to number 16. Which I think must be that one. Yeah. So we've got 15 on one side there and 16 on the other. And you can just wipe them off with a tissue. So you'll notice I've got lots of little tissues around. It's not because I have hay fever, uh, even though I do have hay fever. These are just kitchen towels. And yeah, they look pretty bad, but they are just here to wipe the ends of each of the tools as I use them. And as they get particularly grubby, they'll get chucked in the rubbish and I'll go and grab another one. So today I'm gonna to work on this guy which, I don't know if you guys remember. Come on world, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. You know the Partridge family? Yeah, that reminds me of the Partridge family. But maybe I'm showing my age there. Okay, I'll see you soon, show you some dotting. <laughs> 